All right, let's get started. Satisfactory time. So we've got three planets to go to. Uh, let's see. We've got a, a... Well, we've got the basic grass fields. Probably more of like a forest and... Uh, and like a desert? With maybe... Maybe some glacier zones. But obviously, we can't do any of that. So we're going to, we're just going to do a private session. Actually, I'm going to set it to I'm going to set it to private. I don't want to set it to friends only because no one's going to join me. I am going to be playing this with a vac at the very least at some point. Uh, I was going to do it today, but he's got a guest in, and I figured it would be easier for us to actually play together tomorrow uh when he doesn't have when he's not entertaining a guest and isn't mildly drunk from going out with them uh so we'll be doing multiplayer at some point but for now i'm gonna just goof around in solo and trying to make uh the biggest baddest spaghetti nonsense i can get into we'll see how it goes i've been looking forward to this game for ages and i don't know it's exciting that it's finally coming out Looks great, too. I mean, go figure. Attention. Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. <laughs> Expand your this factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. So this is like Subnautica, but it's not an accident you're landing on the planet and you're there to absolutely use and abuse every resource you possibly can. I'm down with that. Might be a little loud. We'll see once I hit the planet. I might have to mess with some sound settings. I'm loving the uh, drop pod look, though. It looks great. The planet looks great, too. Oh, you can see some kind of weird sky fish. Oh, there's a sky fish. Ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. I'm gonna build things. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. What? Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. What? First what are objective. You? Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. It's a blorb. It's got like a weird bird face and it's pretty close to a borb, you know, bird orb. But it's definitely a little bit more blobbish. That is that is absolutely a blorb. At least until I find out some better better term for it. Anyway, time to rip this apart. 
Well, that was quick. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Tab to open inventory. Drop this into something? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Oh yeah, there's, there's the skyfish. Okay, so, oh, I see, it's marked it on the, uh, it's marked it on the pick up leaves. Yum! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna feast like a koala tonight, which is to say brain dead. And extremely evolutionary, uh, evolutionarily disadvantaged by life. Just gonna this grab things. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Can I gather those? No. But I'm getting a little bit of wo uh, wood. Oh, I see. Stuff falls off the uh, radar after a certain point. Alright, well that's fine. I'm... I'm just going to continue to pick up leaves until the game tells me to stop. <laughs> there will be no foliage left. There will just be me. Reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Smack rocks. Okay. Should probably grab wood as I go by. I'm not actually sure if I need it. What is this? What is this? It's berries. Yum. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Come at me, creature! Come at me! I've got a pokey stick! He couldn't handle the stick, and he got Studying the poke. the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Oh, interesting. There's impure iron ore here. Probably... Oh, wow, that is one floaty jump. Open your inventory to auto mine when you press E. Oh, okay. That's cool. Also, it looks like I have like 500 leaves. Can I just like... Oh, use this fuel. Well, that's handy. Okay, uh, let's see. So Q to build the hub. Do we want to build it here? Probably not. Okay, what do we got in the area? So we've got this iron here. Uh, considering I don't have much else, I'm just gonna smack dab it. Hmm. There's more iron over there. I'm gonna put it down near this iron set, honestly. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go tase, tase a thing. I'm gonna go tase the crap out of a thing. Hello, creature, I killed your fellow. How do you feel about me now? Get back here. You were faster than me, yes? Well, you know what? Don't matter to me. I can play Toro. Play Toro as much as I want. Alright. Oh yeah, you do just auto auto mine. That's kinda nice. I wonder if they're gonna nerf that. I hope they don't. So you just wait till you get the jetpack, then you'll be floaty. Oops, that didn't work. There we go. Well, let's see, use for crafting, most essential basic crafting resource. Is it just me, or do I look like I've got a bit of chonk on me? I once we play multiplayer, I'll I'll, I'll see how the how the char actual character model looks. 
But I feel like I've got a little bit more chonk than I was expecting going into this. You'd think they'd put you through some basic fitness tests. Hopefully there's actually, like, proper character customization in this game eventually. Okay, so... this field seems hubbish. Let's see, how do we rotate? Oh. Snap to guideline. Maybe something we'll deal with later. Uh... here? Yeah, there we go. What do you mean, missing hub parts? Congratulations. Oh, you I have see. Unlocked. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, hub upgrade, storage and power. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay, so complete the hub, complete the hub, select here, blip, 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 things. Okay, upgrade the hub by using the hub terminal. Craft parts of the craft bench. Okay, oh, I see. Hub upgrade one. So, this costs 10 iron rods? Okay, so I gotta figure out how to make the 10 iron rods. Craft bench, iron rod. Can't afford recipe. Uh, how do I deliver these things? Because I've got the resources ready and re Oh, I see. We gotta make the iron ingots. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can also add it to the to-do list. Oh, I see. Like this. So add to the to-do list. Well, that's a neat feature. And yeah, I can't wait until we can actually automate these things. Because that's going to get fancy. That's going to get fancy in a hurry. Now let's just go bananas with some iron rods for a little while. That's pretty quick. I like that. I'm sure it'll get slower once we start making the bigger stuff. Go fancy. Okay, configure personal storage box. You can have all my leaves. Do I... Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. Hub feature personal storage. Scanner feature copper. New equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench respectively. Okay, so this Sixth is the biomass burner. Hub upgrade construction. Note. Connect buildings to a generator for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so... Go back to this for a second. Can I make some iron plates? Yeah, I can. Probably just make a bunch of these for a little while. Oh, uh, let's see. So we have a generator. We have power. We gotta make some more things. Oh boy. Bold C to switch which resource to scan for. Build an equipment workshop where you can craft equipment like the portable miner. Equip a portable miner and place it on a resource node. Build smelters to automate production of ingots. Use biomass burner for power supply. That's easy enough. So hub upgrade 2 requires copper wire, so we can't do that yet. We're getting there, but we can't do that yet. What was I working on? Right. I was gonna work on the equipment workshop. Uh, can I... Uh, let's see. Hold control to snap to guideline. Oops. It doesn't really look like the snap to guideline thing is really... I wonder if it's not a thing yet. Ah, oh, man. I prefer my bases to be on, like, a perfect grid. If I can manage it. No dice. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, no, we gotta build the equipment workshop first. I can't skip that. I was hoping I could... Get some features. So, how do we do this? Where do I even put it? I mean, I feel like I should have it facing the hub. Maybe? Maybe not. No, nah, let's not. We can always tear this up. It, it's not like it's going to cost a whole lot of resources. Let's see. Hi, moderator at Satisfactory here. Just checking in on streams, seeing how it's going. Like it so far. Yes! <laughs> I don't have anything else to say other than yes, this game is fantastic. I... I mean, I don't know. I'm a huge, pro uh, huge proponent of automation in games. And there aren't many of them, so this game came at a really good time. I'm just gonna jam this right here for the time being. 
And so, yeah, satisfactory. And there's also a, another game called Factory Town that I'm really jazzed about. But, uh, <laughs> this game's kind of blowing everything else out of the water. Okay, so let's grab... Ooh, we gotta get some wire, and we gotta get some cable. Alright, so how do we... Copper ore. Bing! What do we got? Anything nearby? Oh, let's see, any feedback you want me to bring to the team? Hmm. I mean, I just got started. So, can't say much so far. Uh, let's see. Trying to think. Nope. Oh, wait, yes. I got one. Um Maybe the the snapping the snapping to like guideline or something like that would be kind of nice just so I can keep my entire base on like the same general visible grid. Like if you could overlay uh, a grid. Oh. If you could overlay a grid onto the ground, that would actually be really nice for base layout. Unless that's actually something that's in the game or being planned. Because I know I like a nice organized base, and right now I'm looking at, looking at nothing but clutter. Oh boy, I've got some friends! Come back here! I wish to poke you out. Dang it. Hmm. Wait, did I punch him? I gave him a sluggo! That's great, where'd the other guy go? There you are. Okay, I got him. Perfect. And there's some carapace. Okay, so how do we get up here? Looks like natural ramps. Oh, that's nice. I don't have to do that. Might have to turn the settings down a little bit. It gets a little chunky loading new areas. But, I'm not too buggered by that. Okay, it's over here. We've got another friend! Okay, and I haven't taken too much damage. I should see if there's... ...means for me to heal. Ow. Yeah, if I can... <laughs> well, bye! Okay, are any of these heal-worthy? Yes. So the burl nuts can be eaten to restore half a health segment. That's really helpful. Okay, Snap Guidelines is in the game, but Wander doesn't have it yet. Oh, okay. It wasn't immediately obvious. I, it, it just said that it was there? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see. So how do we, how do we eat this? Oh. Oh, I see. You drag it to your hand. Got it. Let me see. What else do we do? We should probably look for some more of those resources. I guess we might as well just sit here and mine for a little bit. I only have 50 copper. I could probably get more. I'm gonna shuffle around some of the things on my desk. Right before the stream. Literally as, a, as I was about to hit the... Uh, the start stream button, uh, I suddenly heard like a really loud, uh, like static hissing noise, and I wasn't really sure what was going on. And, you know, I take my headphones off and I can't identify exactly where it's coming from because it felt like it was coming from all around me, so I bring in Shell. And she's like, yeah, Wander, uh, your monitor is making like a really weird noise. It, it really did sound like th the static was going on the, on the TV segment, which would make sense, I guess, except for the fact that it shouldn't be doing that. Uh, because it was set as a monitor, not as a TV, at that point in time. And... Then I get, you know, I start futzing with the cords and stuff, and then I just get this really, really strong smell of, like, burnt... chemicals. Just off-gassing from the monitor, and I'm like, well, I guess that's dead. So, yeah, my entire, my entire desk setup is in, like, absolute shambles. It's not that big of a deal, but it's uh, it's an annoyance for me because I uh, wasn't expecting that, and really annoying. And that happened to my old monitor. Yeah, I I've never had it happen before. Usually, because my monitors, uh, well, I've never had a monitor longer than like five years because I usually just offload them on my folks. Uh, but in this case, this is this is my my old monitor from college that I've just been keeping with me because why not? And, uh, whoops. 
Oh. There we go. He don't like that. Uh, we should probably try and find some more of those bushes. Let's see, is this more iron? What is this? Oh, limestone. Sure. I don't know if I'm going to need limestone anytime soon, but I'm going to grab it anyway. But yeah, so now now I'm down one monitor. I'll go get another one tomorrow. And my my previous one is sitting downstairs. Hopefully it doesn't, like, gas up the living room. But then again, I neither of us go to the living room ever, so... This could be worse. I don't see any immediate plants. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to get a more reliable source of food. Actually, here we go. I guess we're right next to a bush, so maybe I can, uh... Maybe I can just check that every once in a while for... for more. Okay, so... We should probably... process some things. Copper ingots? Yeah. That is so nice. Just the, like, hold down and craft? I don't know. It's... it feels good. Could you drag that prod to your hotbar? Probably could. Uh, the one problem is the hotbar actually disappears. Yeah, the hotbar completely disappears when you're, um... When you're in the menu. So I'm assuming that's for recipes, not, uh... Not other things, I don't know. But is the crafting interface heating up? It does look like it, yeah. It it's turning yellow. I'm gonna keep going and see if it explodes in my face. Actually, I'm about to run out of copper. No, wait, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, it's it's wiggling concerningly, but it it doesn't seem to be stopping me at all. But that's that's a neat little bit of user user interface. I like that. Okay, the glow is just an effect. I mean, it would be kind of fun if it blew up in your face. But also kind of frustrating, because, like, why? Oh, no, it's smoking! <laughs> I, I'm really curious if there's some kind of, like, uh... If there's, a, like, an even... Even more concerning-looking section. Section? Uh... Animation. It looks like it caps out at about this point, but... I don't know. Would be amusing if it exploded in my face. All the same. But that is, that is a really nice environmental detail. I like that a lot. I'd say you don't see that in a lot of games. Actually, you really don't see that in a lot of games. And so it's kind of neat to see that little interaction along the way. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna process most of this stuff. I know I could get a smelter, but eh, might as well have like a decent, decent supply. Okay, so you can't click rapidly to to bu build these either. Oh, do we run out of ingots already? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get the I gotta get the auto, uh, the auto smelter going sooner than later. Anyway, that should be enough. I'll let that thing cool down. Not that it's really a problem, but still. Okay, so we want to make portable miner? Let's make two. Oh, not enough space in inventory. Ah! Oh! Literally unplayable! Okay, uh, let's see. Let's move over the limestone. Let's see. Maybe the wood? What else do we have? Pale berries. Yeah, we can move over the pale berries, the alien carapace. Some of these things I don't immediately need on me. Once we get some upgrades, it'll fix the problem. Uh, fix these problems. Anyway, I figure if we get a portable miner for a couple of different resources, should help. Let's start with iron, obviously. Okay, do I just slam this here?
Okay, so it looks like it just... It looks like it just generates us iron. Do I just grab it? Yeah, looks like it. All right. Have fun, little buddy. I'm just going to leave you there for, for now. I might go put a second one down just because I get the feeling we're going to need a boatload more along the way. But I figure we've got the limestone that I found. Is this the limestone? I think this is the limestone. Yeah, this is limestone. I gotta really remember to equip this tool before I go anywhere. Dang it. There we go. It does it count as Toro Toro when you can jump directly over your foe? I have no idea. Okay, I'm just gonna let that set up. How do we we get up over there? What the? It's a little bird thing. Bazap! 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 What does the kookaburra say now? Well, they don't. They don't say. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna go probably auto mine that copper. I'm sure that there's better mining operations and equipment as we go along, but I figure... Let's see, is this... Yeah, this is copper ore. Oh, and this is normal. So there's a difference between impure... Impure copper and other types. So the rest is pretty dang far away. I'm just going to leave it for now. Let's see. What's the falling damage in this game? It'd be lovely if there was none. I... I get the distinct feeling there might not be fall damage. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, wouldn't that be nice? Ain't that be nice? God damn. I can, I can only word sometimes. I'm gonna say I can only word on Tuesday. Which I think we are very well past Tuesday at this point. Or maybe not there yet? Really depends on which perspective you're going. I hope Tuesday doesn't come very fast. I got a lot of this to to play, and I'm not going to be able to play this by Tuesday. Because, <sighs> yeah, for whatever reason, I apparently, if everybody I know, I'm actually one of the only people uh, that didn't just get, like, a, a copy of this game. Much to my general sadness. Okay. Oh, wow, they cap out quick. Uh, maybe I didn't need that second portable miner. I'll move it once we get another resource, honestly. Uh, let's see. Hub upgrade. We need... Looks like it's just iron plates. Alright, let's fix that. And then I'll go get the smelter down. Should be good enough. Hub upgrade, too. Uh... No, it was wire. Upgrade that hub. Ow. That's a little bright. A little immediate. Let's see, try putting items on hotbar. Nope. You have unlocked scanner stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. I'm pretty Seventh sure you objective. can't. Hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. I'm pretty sure you can't add anything to the hotbar, because the hotbar disappears. I think I just destroyed and or dropped my, my zapper. I don't see it anymore. <laughs> oh boy. That's a bad... Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, the bottom bar is only for construction. Let's see. The one on the right side. What, this over here? Oh. Down here. De nope. Definitely not. Okay. So, what do we have on the equipment workshop? Portable miner, so we, yeah, we can make another Xeno Zapper if we need to. Uh, let's see, so what can I construct? Because that's kind of important. Smelter? Yeah, we need one. Oh! So 
So this is the this is the guideline. I'm just gonna plunk the smelter there for the time being. We might uh, destroy that anyway. Grab a oh. Hold on. Dismantle that. Can I dismantle that? I can. It's a bad idea. Okay, so... Get a smelter. What about guidelines? Okay, let's... Make sure this is rotated correctly. I still would really like to have, like, almost a, a grid view set up here, because I think that would actually be really nice. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? At least, it, as far as I can tell, you get everything back. Okay, so we want to do a smelter. Keep the guideline, but this time... I'm going to be really particular about lining these things up. Plunk that there for the time being. I know you can get a full refund. It'd just be real nice if you could, uh, if you could actually get, like, you know. Oh, I can't afford, because I'm missing something. What do I need for a constructor? What is this? What are you? Reinforced iron plates. Okay, well, you're a smelter. Configure the smelter. Iron ingots. No power. Oh, we need we need power poles. Power pole, power line. Connect power poles. Power generators and factory buildings. Okay, what do I need for a power pole? Whatever it is, I can't afford it. Okay, what do I need? Damn it. Uh... I think I need concrete. Well, one way or another... I guess we'll throw the leaves in there. Gonna just have that burn. I'm assuming this thing's still gonna have no power. Yeah, no power. So... Take this... Take this back, okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go over here. I'm just gonna I guess put my smelter out on this side. That should do. And I can't do a constructor yet, but at the very least oh are you powered? I'm gonna hope you're powered because I'm lazy. Is that Yep, still no power, but we do have something we can connect something we can connect. Power line. There we go. Okay, so it's powered. I guess we'll just daisy chain these things, because we should be able to do that. Okay, so what do I need for... What do I need for the reinforced stuff? Reinforced iron plate requires screws. Well, I got a bunch of those. Well, I had. I guess we might as well just go straight for the iron, because yeah, we need a bunch of iron plates. Okay, uh, we can also get the concrete, assuming I can find my limestone. Limestone. Oops. Because, yeah, that'll get us power poles. And at some point, I'd like to have actual resources. Okay, no daisy chain. Each building gets one connection power pole. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Just take those for the time being. That is going to save me a fair, a fair bit of grief. Okay, so we want to make iron plates. And then enough reinforced iron plates. Whoo boy! That we can make more reinforced iron plates. We might actually... Eh. This is probably going to be a bit of a daisy chain to begin with. So, first and foremost... Nope, doesn't look like we've got anything terribly fancy. 
I'm just gonna start with that constructor. Power line. Oh, interesting. So that... You cannot connect more lines to this location. Oh. You're right. Okay. So, pretty much as soon as this thing's done. Actually, let's just take all of this. Take all of these. Okay. Dismantle this sucker. And we want to do power pole. Ah, oh, do power do power poles not do the do the thing? That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully, I have inventory space for that. Okay, so we're going to do a smelter again. And we're going to do a constructor again. I'd like to do conveyors, but still. Okay, so we want to do power line. No, okay, so it's got three out of four connections, so we, we've got to get some more power poles up in here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna slap one at, like, kind of set sections of the base, probably on the corners, and then we'll kind of daisy chain them all together at a later date. Let's see. You know, I've got enough. I got enough resources for this. Let's let's just go hog wild right now. What's the other one? I don't know, but in retrospect, I should have them directly next to these concrete braces, or at least along the midpoint. I don't know. Okay, so let's close that. Uh, no, we we want to do power lines. Because this will give us, actually, like, a decent amount of space to move. Do we? Yeah. I'm gonna line, the, line these up so everything is nice and... Maybe not pseudo-symmetrical, but seeing as I can't, like, exactly do gri grid building... Hmm. Yeah, that w We'll live. There we go. It's not perfect. At some point, I'll, s I'll spread this out. But, that'll do for now. Okay, and have we already run out of power? No, we haven't. The main thing is, is our consumption just ridiculously high? No idea what that noise is. Or, no, these things just aren't working on anything, because we don't, we don't have anything in them. Alright, let's work on that. And what do we got? We can do biomass. Concrete, screws, iron plates. Oh, we do iron plates? And I've got a whole bunch of this stuff, so I can just... No, I didn't want that. I want the miners, I just want all of these. I almost, uh, one quality of life thing that I would like is instead of being uh, going up to the the portable miners, uh, if you could just go up to them and press F to pick up all of their inventory. That would actually be kind of a lovely system. Okay, so we've expanded that. I guess we gotta just work on upgrading my base next. What do I need for hub upgrade three? We're still in tier zero too. So I need more reinforced iron plates, concrete, and iron plate, boatloads of iron plates. Well, I guess, how's my inventory looking? Pretty bad. Let's go to my personal storage for the time being. Drop off the alien carapace, flower petals, anything else immediately? Wood? Because a lot of these resources I'm just gonna have more of constantly. And so getting rid of them is almost a fool's venture. I'll drop off some of the iron ore. Okay. Let's see, make the leaves into biomass last longer. Huh, good to know. I 
at the same time, I am surrounded by a limitless amount of leaves. So... Low on the priority listing-ish. Let's see. Ah. Yeah, it would be really nice if you could just go up to those and press F. And be like, gimme. Just because. I'm lazy and I don't want to have to open up a U UI thing every single time. Weird Skyfish. Oh, Weird Skyfish has, like, babies. Or a posse. I don't know. I want one. Whee! If I don't take falling damage from this, I don't think... Oh, you do take falling damage. Okay. It's just you have to fall... Uh, you have to fall a considerable distance. Yeah, I'll, I'll make the biomass. It's just right now it seems like a low priority. Like, y'all gotta, y'all gotta back off on the, uh, backseat gaming. I know a lot of people have had all day to play this, but let, let me learn. Let me learn the wrong way. Because, like, ultimately, like, it's no fun if everybody plays, uh, Twitch plays Wonderbot plays Satisfactory. Uh, I mean, it might be fun for some people, but it's no fun for me. No, oh, no power. Okay, let's grab those. I'm gonna dump in the leaves. Ah, uh, let's see, recipes, biomass, leaves. I guess I'll go grab the wood first. And then all of the remaining leaves. Ah, uh, let's see, where'd I, where'd I put the wood? There's the wood. We might need wood for other things, but... Figure if we chuck in the wood now. The one thing is, a lot of these icons are actually kind of small. Okay, so let's just do that. Yeah, I thought leaves were endless, and now I have no leaves for power. Oh, really? They don't grow back? Ah. Well, that's a... Uh, that's a sobering realization. Oh, I can, uh, I can manually make biomass myself. Why the hell would I put it in here, then? You! Stop that! Okay, let's bring you back to iron plates. Okay. I don't even know necessarily what I'm going to be doing with that one. Let's see, are you good? Oh, I see. It's maxed out. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. But yeah, if I can make biomass by hand that fast, I might as well do that. So what do I need? I need concrete and I need iron plates up the wazoo. So back to this. Whoo boy, we're going to need a lot too. I almost feel like I should get a second smelter, but what I really want are conveyor belts. Is that... Maybe that's something I make over here. Nope. Maybe we get conveyor belts in the next, next round. Let me check. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Conveyor poles. Connection for conveyor belts. You can adjust the height of the pole. Interesting. We also get foundations and more biomass. Well, seeing as I can make biomass at light speed, I might as well handle that real quick. Let's see, is the autofaber slower than handcrafting? I'm not sure, actually. Handcrafting is blindingly fast early on. I think the main thing is just the, uh, the autofaber just does it for you. Okay, I can get another reinforced plate. Yeah, let's make two. Nope. Only one. What do I need exactly? Can I... Well, I've got enough. We just need the iron plates. How are we doing? 
I have a third. You all done? You're all done. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more? I've got boatloads of that, but no, we should go get get some more things. Let these fill up. So yeah, two portable miners rolling on iron is exactly the kind of thing I need. So is Wander going solo? For now. Uh, I'm gonna play with a vac later, but he's out. He's out being social with a uh, with a, a guest, and I didn't want to. <coughs> sorry. I didn't want to uh, tell him, you know, play with me instead of this person that is actively, physically present in your home. Uh, I was really hoping I could kind of climb this and, like, ride the arm up. Mm. Literally unplayable! <laughs>